little school rivalry makes everything a little bit better. We are looking at the Shadow High dolls today. All six of the dolls in the entire first series line. I got all of the Shadow High dolls on Walmart.com except for Natasha Zima who I found on Amazon. Now Luna Madison is film focused. Let's take a look at the back at the entire Shadow High crew. They look nice enough, but they have a lot of rivalry with Rainbow High. Rainbow High has officially met its match. Expect the unexpected from the fine art students of Shadow High. You know, I'm gonna be honest. I was expecting something a little different from Shadow High. They're basically black and white versions of Rainbow High. They are pretty much the same face molds, maybe slightly a little different. I really wanted to see these Shadow High dolls as kind of something kind of creepy, kind of edgy. I don't know, they are edgy, but I was expecting something like that. These kind of remind me of the Twilight Zone. They're gray-scaled black and white dolls. They are very much giving me a kind of futuristic and old-timey feel at the same time. Let your true colors shine. Bet wet colors. They have none. I wonder if they're gonna come out with an entire playhouse, you know, like a play set for the Shadow High dolls. Don't you know that you're taxi? Ugh. Oh my God, there you go, I got it. Doll stand is black, very fitting. Mm-hmm, with the gray scale, loving it. It does take a little getting used to though, this gray scale theme did throw me off a bit. Wow, just look at her. Look at her gladiator heels. Holy guacamole. There's so many belt buckles on there. Can you imagine having to wear those in real life? It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, six buckles on there. All right, let's take a look at the brush. It's not RH, it's SH. Here's her doll stand with the SH on the bottom and some studs going all around the base. So let's take a closer look at Sunny Ma I mean Luna Madison. She has a chrome metallic outfit. I do like the hip area, the little flare they have going on for her. It looks very haunt couture. It's supposed to be like that, but they keep squishing down. She has gloves. She also has some jewelry, shadow on this hand and another little bracelet on this one. Her earrings are silver studs. Luna is Sunny Madison's twin and her total opposite. She is the moon to Sunny's sun. When the two come together, they form an eclipse-like bond. Unfortunately, the energy around them heightens so intensely that they often feel more comfortable being apart from each other. Luna is a very dry, brooding filmmaker and she has a hard time letting others in. Oh no, this is bad, real bad. You got that right, little sis. Shadow High's in town, so Rainbow High better watch out. Oh no, oh no, I better tell the girls. <laughs> Move aside, Sunny, cause there's an eclipse taking over. Next up is Ash Silverstone. Ash is audio and visual effects focus. Hey look, we can meet the students. Growing up with four older sisters, Ash had to fight to make himself heard in his family. As a result, Ash became the life of the party. He's super friendly, outgoing, and always wants everyone around him to have a good time. He's all about the wow factor and loves to impress people with his talent for audio and visual effects. At Shadow High, his motto is work hard, play hard, emphasis on the play. The minute class is over, he likes to let loose and spend time with his friends. He's always up for anything and his besties know that he'll be there for them no matter what. From a shoulder to cry on to an ear for venting, Ash stands by his people and always has a playlist ready for any occasion. Focus, audio and visual effects, fashion and style details, streetwear, tech, sporty. The pants and the shorts on his new outfit are two separate pieces, so that's always a plus, including the cute jacket and undershirt. Catchphrase, the party doesn't start until I walk in.
Next, we're looking at Chanel Onyx. Chanel is couture fashion design focus. After winning every tween pageant in her home state, Chanel realized her passion wasn't just receiving incredible amounts of attention for her perfect poison killer smile. She was obsessed with fashion and needed to study under the best minds in the industry. Shadow High was her calling. Chanel is the rising queen at Shadow High. Chanel's talent in couture fashion design already sets her apart from her classmates as it all comes so easy to her. But despite her strong personality, she has tons of friends that are more than willing to follow Chanel wherever she may go because she's an incredibly fun and loyal person. Fashion and style details, couture, diva, poise. Catchphrase, unlike me, everyone can't be perfect. Now we're taking a look at Heather Grayson. Heather Grayson is special effects makeup focus. Heather Grayson might look intimidating, moody, and well, great. But what you see definitely isn't what you get. She's one of those girls that is always fun to be around and more importantly, always makes you feel included. Her kindness can leave you glowing even after a short encounter and she always offers up good advice. Heather is also fearless when it comes to voicing her opinion, even when it's not what everyone else thinks. She knows how to stay true to herself. At Shadow High, she's a special effects makeup focus, specializing in the most amazing looks. Her love for makeup up and all things Halloween stems from her early childhood where she would curl up and watch old black and white scary movies with her grandpa. She may love a good scare, but Heather is fearless when it comes to following her dreams. She's probably the first rainbow high doll that has a ring. It's not removable, it's molded onto her finger. Okay, so Heather is definitely my kind of person. If I had to be any shadow high character, it would definitely be Heather Grayson. I'm saying let's go You're saying maybe Let's find a disco You're stuck at home being so lazy hey. Give me some, give me some, give me some, give me some, give me some energy Next, let's take a look at Nicole Steele. Shadow High has their own sporty gal. Jade Hunters met her match. Nicole Steele is installation art focus. Okay, so the focus is different. All right, so here are the other pieces she comes with. It looks like a sort of Adidas inspired Shadow High jacket. Here is the inside. It's got a really pretty hollow print in there that says Shadow High all over. Here are her second pair of shoes. They're like sock boots or sock sneakers and she also gets a jersey so let's get to know Nicole a little bit better Nicole Steele is one of the most even keel and thoughtful people you'll ever meet unlike her classmates she isn't one for drama unless you're challenging her to a game of basketball on the court she's a whole different person high energy and super competitive the only thing she takes more seriously than sports is her art her specialty is installation art and she really thrives when she can think outside of the box and go big this go-getter attitude is what always makes her pieces so special but sometimes her focus is so strong that she can miss out on what's going on with her friends so she is actively working on being an amazing partner to her peers by helping them bring their visions to life however she can. Focus, installation art, fashion and style details, sporty, street style, active. Catchphrase, don't play games with me, you won't win. Next, we're taking a look at Natasha Zima. She is cosmetic chemistry focused. Meet Amsterdam's very own Natasha Zima. She traveled a long way to study at Shadow High's iconic cosmetic chemistry program, and she couldn't be more excited to be stateside. From her testing out waterproof mascara against the 12 days of tears from her breakup with her longtime boyfriend, to her traveling as the personal perfumer to Princess Amalia herself. She loves all things makeup and beauty because no matter what she's doing, she always wants to smell good. Focus, cosmetic chemistry, fashion and style details, cunning, glam, posh. Catchphrase, cold personalities are good for the skin.
Well, here they are. What do you think of our new Shadow High dolls? Our Rainbow High rivals? Which part of the shadows is your favorite? They are taking over the Rainbow High mansion. What are the Rainbow High girls gonna do? That's it for now. Until next time, I will see y'all later.